I tried Christianity. It's not for me. I'm going to try something else. I was raised Christian, but now I'm going to try something else. Anybody who ever says that, what do you know right away? Right away, you know they do not understand Christianity. I was leaving a Bible study with a friend of mine, and we happened to be walking uh, right out there on the street, and a young lady was walking by, and the guy said, hey, that's one of my coworkers. She's a Buddhist. And so I asked her, I said, hey, what's your story? She said uh, she was raised a Christian, and this woman was like 40 years old. She was raised a Christian, and now um, it wasn't working for her. So then she said, I'm, I'm trying Buddhism right now. And I said, it is so apparent you don't understand Christianity. She said, what? How, how can you say that? I said, because if you understood Christianity, you don't let it go. It's not flipping. It's not casual. It's not random. It's only through Christianity that forgiveness of sins is available. The payment of sins, atonement for our sins. And I, I told her that, you know, Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All. That includes men, women, midgets, hobbits. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The million dollar question now is for everyone. I don't care if you believe in God or not. I don't care if you, you're, you're, you call yourself an atheist or a Muslim or you call yourself something, anything other than a Christian, you call yourself this. The million dollar question for everyone is, who's going to pay for your sins? It's not a question of have you sinned, because all have sinned. The question is, who's going to pay for your sins? Because all sins have to be paid for. And so we also know that uh, Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. A wage is something that you earn. So anytime we sin, regardless of how big or small we think it is, when we sin, we've earned some form of death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So when you accept Jesus, he pays for your sins. Um, someone else, if, if they if they throw this at you, I tried Christianity once, it's not for me. I'm trying something else. You're literally rejecting God right now. This is what you ask him. John 3, 18 through 20 says, Whoever believes in Jesus is not condemned, but whoever does not believe in Jesus is condemned already. And it goes on and says, because these people, you don't believe in the name of the Son of God, what you're really doing, you're rejecting the light right now. And as you reject the light, uh, it, it goes on to say that you reject the light because you love darkness more than light. And you don't want your darkness to be exposed to the light. And so you're, you're rejecting God. And I ask people all the time, who does that? Who literally rejects salvation? You're rejecting God right now. So don't fall for that baloney. I tried Christianity once. It's not for me. I don't care who you are. Everyone needs Christ because we're all sinners. It's kind of like jumping out of an airplane and, and, and you had a parachute, but you said, yeah, I'm going to try something else. <laughs> no, you hold on to that parachute because you know that's the only thing that's going to save you. All right. Love you guys. Fix bayonets.